How's it going, everyone? Welcome back or welcome to the channel. I'm Steven, and this is Just BSing. And today I am super excited to share with you guys an amazing collectible haul that I've been putting together over the last couple of weeks. Really stoked to have found a lot of this and I'm even more excited to share it with you. We've got superpowers, we've got vintage action figures, we've got Power Rangers, we've got some Batman stuff. We've even got some Superman the movie collectibles that I am really excited to share. Even have some stuff that I'm not 100% sure what exactly they are, what line they're from. All I know is they're from the 70s. So maybe you guys can help me out in the comments. Let me know when we get to those. And also you'll want to stick around to the end of the video because I have a very small update on the McFarlane Superpowers Wave 7 pre-orders and why some of us haven't been getting our shipments yet. So Definitely stick around for that. Stick around for all of the collectibles in the video. Drop a like right now so you don't forget. And without further ado, we'll get right into this haul. Now, as I said, there's quite a bit here. It's kind of all over the place. So I've kind of broken everything into categories. We're gonna go ahead and start with Power Rangers. And why are we starting with Power Rangers? Well, most recently, you guys may have heard that Hasbro has entered into a partnership or maybe even just given the license to the Power Rangers action figures and collectibles to Playmates, which means, hey, maybe some more or better Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles crossovers in the future. So it's, it's a little bit timely and I'm really glad to have found these. You also may remember a video around the holidays that we did where I shared the original 1993 Bandai Rangers. I found all five original Rangers completely sealed, still in package, as well as the Dragon Zord and the Green Ranger, still in package, but not sealed anymore. It had been on display. Well, what good are the Rangers without some baddies to fight with them, right? So I had to track down some of my favorite bad guys. And the first couple that I found were King Sphinx and Goldar. Now, these were two of my favorites as a kid. These are definitely used. These are definitely played with. They didn't cost a whole lot, so didn't mind picking those up. And I will try to clean them up as much as possible. But the one that I'm most excited about is in package, still sealed as well. This is Lord Zed from the original 1993 Bandai collection, one of my favorite villains from the show, and one of the, I think, most intimidating looking bad guys. He may not have been on the show itself, but a little bit more intimidating, at least in appearance, than Rita Repulsa. So I was very excited to find this one still sealed in its original packaging, so he'll fit right in with the original Rangers that I have in their original packaging as well. All right, now let's get into some Batman stuff. Now, I love The Dark Knight. I love all of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies, but The Dark Knight especially, and I don't have any collectibles from that movie. It's Probably not my favorite. I am an 80s baby after all, so I think the Keaton Batman still kind of takes the crown for me, just, just barely. But I wanted to pick up these when I saw them because they're in such great condition. These are the Batman and the Joker from Mattel. Great lightnesses, great articulation. As I said, these are in really, really good condition. No packaging, so these were loose, but almost look mint. So I feel like they were probably on display. And another reason I say that is because the Joker also came with his original playing card from the original packaging. Not a crease on it, looks in great condition. I'm very surprised they even had that with him, to be honest with you, but I couldn't pass that up when I saw those. And again, because I don't have any other collectibles from any of the Dark Knight trilogy movies, had to go ahead and grab those, add those to my collection. Now moving on to some other Batman items that I found. If you're familiar with the DC Multiverse, the four inch figures from Mattel, um, actually have a couple of those in my collection already. I have uh, Superman and General Zod from the Superman the movie line. So kind of Christopher Reeve, Terrence Stamp likenesses. Um, I found some Batman action figures from that line. So first up, I have the Batman and Joker. Now these are the Arkham style Batman and Joker. I really feel like the Batman looks much more Arkham than the Joker of this one, but still both really nice looking, especially for such small figures. Again, these are only four inch figures. These have some great detail and some great articulation. Uh, so pretty stoked to have found these, especially for as inexpensive as they were, but even more stoked to have found this next one. This is, as I said, an 80s baby, love the Keaton movies. This is the 1989 Michael Keaton style Batman. 
Love this one so much. Again, for such a small and inexpensive figure, I mean, even brand new, these were pretty inexpensive. This has got some great detail, some great articulation. Really glad to have picked this one up, and this will look great with my Christopher Reeve Superman of the same line. I'm really excited to put those two together. And we also have some superpowers action figures, a little bit of old, a little bit of new. So we have the Kenner Lex Luthor from the original Superpowers line. This guy is just in great shape. I mean, he, he looks like he just came out of the package. Some minor paint smudging on the helmet shield area. But other than that, in really, really good condition. No packaging with this guy, so he was loose, but like I said, looks fantastic. And very excited to have this one. You may have actually seen this guy cameo recently in our Toy Biz video. I had just picked him up and wanted to do a comparison to that Mr. Freeze, since Chris and I both use that Mr. Freeze from Toy Biz for another power suit Lex Luthor. So he did make a cameo already. This is not his first appearance on Just BSing, but very excited about this one. Do not have my original Lex Luthor from childhood anymore. I do have my original Superman, so now he has his main bad guy to go with him. Coming from the farthest reaches of the universe to challenge the worst villains on Earth are the most powerful heroes ever in the battle of the Superpower Collection. Superpowers figures with power action, each sold separately. This is power he built. He's them and they've got power action like Superman. And the Flash. Watch out for the Joker. Flash uses power features and power action. At least because of the mini comic. The Superpowers collection. Superman, the Flash, Lex Luthor, Joker, and other figures with power action, each sold separately, new from Kenner. And a little bit of new, I was able to find another Black Manta. Now, I don't really need this guy. I already have one. But these are still so scarce. If you find one especially if you find one at retail, you pick that sucker up. So I got him so I could have an extra one. As I said, still very, very difficult to find. I'm, I'm hearing still around the country. Hopefully Walmart will start adding some to their stock pretty soon. I have seen more and more people saying they are now finding them at Walmart, but we by and large have not until I found this one. So I was able to pick up the one that they had uh, so glad to have another Black Manta in the collection. Guys, and I suggest if you find one, go ahead and pick it up, whether you need it or not, or you want it or not. They're still so hard to find, as I said. So you wanna pick those up if you see those. Now let me pause here and ask you guys for a favor. If you're new here, or if you've stopped by a few times and you're digging the vibe here at Just BSing, if you don't mind going down, hitting that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop this video a like. We've got so many more action figure videos. We've got some movies shows, video games, kind of do it all here at Just BSing. So there's no shortage of great content for you to check out, get caught up, and we would certainly appreciate your support. So with the YouTube pandering out of the way, we can go ahead and jump back into the hall. And this is the Superman section. So this is pretty much gonna take up the rest of the video. First two in our Superman section are from Superman Returns, actually, from 2006. Now, I wasn't collecting action figures around that time, so I completely missed all of these, but I picked up a Brandon Routh style Superman and a quick change Clark Kent. Now guys, this clearly is not the best Clark Kent. In fact, he looks a bit Frankenstein-ish in this outfit, especially with the shoes and the overly bulky cloth goods. But the Superman underneath this Clark Kent outfit is actually better, I think, than the other Superman that I picked up. So overall, very happy that I was able to pick these up. Again, just completely missed these. I know Superman Returns isn't everyone's favorite Superman movie. It's definitely not the best of the Superman properties, but I'll tell you back in 2006 when Christopher Reeve was my favorite Superman and I went to the theater and that John Williams score kicked in, I really, really liked that movie uh, for, for a long period of time and still holds a special place in my heart, still kind of dig it, so very excited to have a couple of Superman Returns, Brandon Routh style action figures. He, he didn't get enough respect for his portrayal as Superman as he showed on CW when he was able to reprise that role as Kingdom Come Superman. Next we have, now this is kind of along the lines of superpowers, but it is not a superpowers action figure. It is a Kenner Superman. This is from the Superman Man of Steel line that came out in the 90s. I have most of these loose, but I have not found one on card and I did. Now this card is in rough shape, very clearly. It's floppy, it is creased, it is dusty but it's just really cool to see this figure on card, this Nicolas Cage looking Superman with the mullet. 
I loved this line. It was probably the last one I collected pretty much as, because I was getting too old, too old for action figures. Speaking as a grown man now collecting action figures, but at that time, it wasn't cool anymore, but I, I still had to get some of these. So I have a lot of this line loose. Do not have any on card, now I do. I'm gonna be keeping my eyes out for a better version of this card at some point, then I might pop this one out of it. But for now, I will leave this one on this very gross, very dusty, very dirty card that it is currently on. And now guys, this is the line that I said I wasn't too sure about. Now it kind of holds some sentimental value for me, so I actually already had this guy right here. This was a Superman that my dad had, and it was his good luck charm, and he passed this down to me. I always thought this was so fun when I was a kid, even though it has no articulation, doesn't move, just for whatever reason, as a kid, maybe it's because it was my dad's and it was, you know, sentimental or whatever, but it was one of my favorites. And when he passed it, you know, to me, I cherished it, I still have it, but I've never seen anything else like this. I didn't know what line it came from. All I knew was it was a, a figure from the 70s. But lo and behold, I come across even more of them and I found, in great condition too, found this Superman that is breaking some chains. I found the one that my dad had, but in much better condition. I found Clark Kent tearing open his shirt to reveal the Superman symbol, and I found a Robin. And if there's a Robin, it leads me to believe there's a Batman. Again, I don't know really much about these, and I will do some additional research as well, but I was hoping maybe you guys might know something about these. As I said, all I know is they're from the 1970s, actually, Looks like 1974 and made in Hong Kong. Hard plastic, possibly PVC, I'm not 100% sure, but I would love to know more about these, what line they're from, where they came from, and would definitely love to track more of these down, especially if there is a Batman in the mix. I would love to pick up some more of these or some more of these Superman. Again, just sentimental value alone. I definitely want to get a few more of these if they're available. And finally, now these are really cool guys. I don't know if any of you ever collected those trading cards, like the DC Marvel trading cards from like the late 80s, early 90s, the ones where you would go and you would find like the holograms, things like that. Love those cards. I collected those like crazy. But I didn't realize that there were cards well before that for Superman the movie and for Superman 2. And I found, in great condition, 12 cards, trading cards, from Tops from Superman 2. And these are, are the original cards from 1980. And have looked these up since then and found that there are 88 total trading cards from Superman 2 and some stickers. So I'm definitely going to be looking for the rest of those. Guys, let me know if you had these or have these, uh, where you might have picked those up or where you have seen some for a good price. I would love to pick up the rest of these. These were, these were a fantastic price. Just got these for a few dollars, but I would love to pick up the rest of them in as good a condition as these are in. This looks like this came from a collector. So these are in just beautiful, fantastic condition. Definitely want to get some more of those. Well, guys, that does it for the collectible haul, but I promised you at the beginning of the video, I had a little update on McFarlane Superpowers Wave 7 and where are our shipments? Well, I actually reached out to McFarlane Toys, talked to one of the reps over there, and if you ordered the bundle from McFarlane Toy Store like we did, that included a special edition gold label Brainiac and ship that was not part of the regular bundle. That seems to be the holdup. Seems like there were some shortages on some of the parts, something like that, so that's delaying the shipping. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer before those are shipped out. Now, if you didn't order that particular action figure or that particular bundle and just kind of piecemealed and ordered the figures that and vehicles that you wanted, you're in luck. Those are probably already shipping out. You may actually already have even received some of yours. So let us know down in the comments if you were starting to receive yours or if you've gotten shipping notifications that say, yes, they're on the way, where you got them from, which ones you're getting, and especially if you guys are actually finding some of these out in the wild because we've been seeing a ton of reports of people finding these at store, in Walmart, in GameStop, would love to hear from some of you guys too. Have not found them around us yet. Hopefully they will be in store for more people very soon. I know Walmart is kind of restocking and reordering their layout. So hopefully that means some new stock coming soon. Keep your eyes out guys if you haven't found them yet. But yes, let us know if you did find those 
in store, where you found them. We've even, guys, this blows my mind. We've even seen some folks finding the Wave 7 new figures discounted mistakenly like they were previous waves. Just Walmart employees not realizing that those are part of the new waves. So if you're one of those lucky few that found some of those figures discounted at $6, $4, we even saw some that were discounted at a dollar. Just craziness. If you found some of those, let us know. We would love to hear from you. It's just mind blowing that this is even happening and seven waves in just can't seem to get it right. But unfortunately, that means that our unboxing and review of Wave 7 will probably be a little bit later than we had hoped it would be. Be patient, guys, stick around. We're definitely still going to do that as soon as we get all of the figures in hand. Promise you that Wave 7 will be on Just BSing. We also have all of the Waves 1 through 6 unboxings. So for those of you who are new, haven't checked us out before, wanna get caught up, Go check out our Go Figure playlist. I'll link that one and a couple of our other more popular playlists down in the description. We really appreciate you stopping by. We love BSing with you, and we will catch you in the next one. Take care.